again, TBs. I am back again with another review because that's I like buying stuff. So let's get right into it. Um, I am reviewing these new L'Oreal. Dropped it. Not good. Um, L'Oreal True Match Crayon Correctors. They're just basically concealers. Why they couldn't say that is beyond me. But on this side, it's. On this side, it says um, True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. Uh, anyways. Um, so I purchased mine at Target. And it was, I'm pretty sure it was $7.99. I've seen them at other places now. So I'm pretty sure you can get them anywhere now. Just depending on where you like to personally shop. Um, the color that I got it in is medium deep, and then it's W, 6, 7, and 8. I don't understand how they can have three different shades, like, in one crayon, but whatever. Lower yellow so they can do whatever they want to do. So this is part of their True Match collection. You know, they've got foundations, they've got powders, and they've got blushes, and they've got other concealers in their True Match collection, so... They have them, um, they don't have a whole bunch of them. There's probably like m more than five, I want to say, but definitely less than ten. Um, the deeper shade, I think, is a neutral one. Like, they do have another color that's a little darker than this one, and I think it was like N78. So it wasn't significantly darker than this one, but I had got this one solely for highlighting um, under my eyes. And the lighting is not that great. I'm still working on that. So you're not going to be able to see the highlightedness of in here because I did use it today. So that's why I got it obviously lighter than my skin tone because I got it specifically to highlight. That's all I wanted it to do it with for. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's uh, one of these. I'll let you see it actually. Um, oh, that light is bright. So you might not be able to see it what it says but yeah it looks like this it's one of those crayon ones it reminds me of like the um revlon lip stains that's the packaging that it comes in so this is what it looks like this is the color once again like i said this one is w678 medium deep um now i purchased mine probably like two weeks ago and because I'm me. I'm very special. I dropped it as soon as I got it. I got it, took it out of the bag and I went to take the package, you know, like the plastic that's around it. I went to take it off and I dropped it on the floor. I didn't think anything of it because I didn't. So when I opened it to use it to just kind of swatch it, I was able to do like the one eye and then immediately the tip part of it broke off. So there's a pointed tip to this, like the Revlon lip balms. It's pointed and it's tipped you know, it's a pointed tip, but mine's broke off. So mine's looks like this. Yours will not look like this unless you use it a lot. But I did keep the tip part of it because it just broke off in one clean part or one clean break. So I kept it, you know, I paid for it. So it's mine. Anyways. Um, yeah, it twists up. You get a considerable amount of product. It's, you know, typical for these kind of products. I'm not going to twist it all the way up because with my luck it'll get stuck up there and I won't get it back down. But moving on to the concealer itself. Um, I don't know about coverage or anything like that because I don't use it for that purpose. I specifically use it just for highlighting. I will show you a swatch of it and I will let you know, you know, what I think about it. Now as you can see, it, it went on my hand really nice and smooth. And let me see. It blends nice and easy as you can see on my hands but I have noticed that when I use this here on my face I have the hardest time getting it to blend like I can put it here and I am literally going like this forever because the concealer just does not move to me it feels like once it hits my face like here on my hand it blended really nicely but when I put it on my face it does not blend it feels like it just sticks to my face and I can't get it to move and it's so annoying because it's a concealer and you're trying to use it as a highlight and you don't want it to, you know, you don't want people to be able to see exactly where you put it because it's really super hard to blend. Um, I have tried 
you know, doing it this way, putting it on my finger and letting it warm the product up on my fingers and then putting it on my face. Um, I have tried going like this and just putting it directly on my face. I will say that it's slightly easier. It blends a little bit better when I take it and warm the product up on my hand and then put it on my face. But what I've been doing, just because I prefer to put it on my face where I want it to go versus here doing it like this because it doesn't, it's not as precise as it is as if I had just put it on my face with the crayon which was the whole reason why I was really excited about this because I thought this would be really precise at where you want to put your highlight versus you know liquids you just dot it on your face like I was really excited about this um so what I do is I still I go down and then I go out and then I just try to hurry up and blend it into my face don't do both eyes at the same time because this side seems if you do like this and then this this side will be drying as it's sitting on your face while you're doing this side. So I highly recommend that you just do one side, like put the product on it one side at a time. Don't put them both on at the same time. Like I do that with liquids. But um, be quick, because it, it seems like the longer you let it sit on your face, it's drying, so it makes it harder to blend. Um, I think it looks really pretty with the finished product. I do like the way it looks on my face. It serves, it does its highlighting purpose, but because it's super hard to blend, I don't really care for it, which is really, I guess it does, well, it does say it's super blendable, and it was super blendable on here, but for whatever reason, maybe it's because it's getting stuck to, like, my foundations and the powders and stuff that it's not blending as nice as I would like. I never thought to try, you know, highlighting my face first, like putting this on before I even put cons like foundation on because that's typically not how I highlight. I put my foundation on and then I put the highlight on. But maybe I should try it that way and see if it works because it's totally blended here. Like it's gone now. Like you can barely see it. It blended right there just super fine. But once I get it on my face, it doesn't blend very well. It does work really well if you use like a wet sponge. Like I notice when I use wet sponges, it it moves very nicely, but I feel like when you use wet sponges, it shears off the product a lot. I mean, you still have a nice highlighted effect, but it's not as highlighted as I would like for it to look if I had used my finger. But I mean, eventually I can get it to look the way I want to. It just takes a lot more work and effort than I was initially hoping that I would have to do at first. So, I would say this is a nice product for $7.99. It's not bad. I just wish that it was a little bit easier to blend. Um, I don't know what the issue is with me. It could just be me personally. You may not have those problems like I do. Um, but for whatever reason, it just does not blend as easily as I would like. And it's just this concealer because I have a um, Revlon, I think it's the Photo Ready Concealer in Deep because it's not that dark. So I bought it in Deep and I use it here and that blends like nobody's business. That's usually what I use because I bought them around the same time. I bought the Revlon one after I bought this one because I thought that this one would work you know be what I was looking for which it is once the highlighted I like I love the look it gives when it's finished I just hate the work that I have to do for it and I mean it's not a lot of work it's not like I have to you know it's so hard I'm over here breaking sweats and things like that but you would think it would just be really easy and seamless to do considering that it is called super blendable but like I said it blends really nicely on my hand just not when I put it on my face but I am going to try putting it on without the foundation because I don't know if it's sticking to the foundation and that's what's making it not move so much but eventually once you get you get it to move and stuff it it will do what you want it to do just not right away so I would say try it let me know how it works for you if you have the same issues that I have um I would definitely I would buy it again because I do like the outlook of it and I feel like that is um outweighs more than the little effort that I have to put into it just to make it work. I just wish that it just worked a little bit easier than it does. But that's all I have for my review. Um, thanks for watching. And until next time, peace out. Bye.